A while ago, we looked at the video game villains with a song in their heart and also in their mouths as they sang those songs in their video games. Of course, those baddies were just a tiny selection of the vast choir of gaming's tuneful villains, as you made clear in the comments. So now it's time to see and hear about yet more of the world's singingest video game villains, as chosen by you, the music-loving YouTube commenters. Beware spoilers for the following. For Undertale fans, the murderous robot Metaton is shrouded in mystery. Like, why was this human hunting entertainment bot constructed exactly? How did it come to have a soul? Is it really the cousin of a ghost you meet earlier in the game? And if it's a robot, why does it need a microphone? What? I'm just saying, you'd think it would be built in. But there's something even more mysterious about Metaton, a glorious singing voice, as commenter Liz Draconis 22 recalls. What about Metaton from Undertale? The song, Oh My Love. Okay, it hasn't any voice acting, but come on, it's Metaton. Metaton's musical debut comes at the end of a series of bizarre trials in which you, the player, are subjected to a number of entertainment TV formats concocted by Metaton and designed to kill you, including defusing a bomb dog on live TV news, and participating in a televised cooking show where the secret ingredient is your soul. What's consistent throughout these surreal tasks is that Metaton is A, not so secretly trying to kill you, and B, has an ear-bruising electronic voice that sounds like the noise a Roomba would make if you engineered one to have human nipples and then hooked those nipples up to jumper cables. I mean, I imagine. No one look in my garage. And yet, in the most surprising robot twist since it turned out that Bruce Willis was one at the end of The Sixth Sense, it's revealed that Metaton secretly has the voice of a digital angel when it lures you into a romantic stage production. Metaton, you sing beautifully at- oh, oh, you're not done. I'd say the lyrics could use some work, or I could if I wasn't so scared of Metaton chainsawing out my soul. Seriously, it's a robot. Why isn't the chainsaw built in? You know, being Carolyn taught me a valuable lesson. I thought you were my greatest enemy, when all along you were my best friend. The surge of emotion that shot through me when I saved your life taught me an even more valuable lesson. Where Carolyn lives in my brain. Carolyn, delete. Portal's malevolent AI GLaDOS appeared in the first version of this list when we fondly remembered her Portal 1 credit song, Still Alive. What an absolute banger. Like Cher, GLaDOS is an unstoppable feature of the music charts once again, storming back onto the hit parade with her Portal 2 credit song, Once You Gone. Well, here we are again. It's always such a pleasure. Remember when you tried to kill me twice? It goes to show whether you're Cher or a neurotoxin-loving, murder-doing AI, Auto-Tune is the secret to pop success. Which is why we'll be doing all our videos with auto-tune from now on. We can't afford a real auto-tune. 
That comment comes courtesy of Duncan Lake in Hall, who wrote, Now I only want you gone from Portal 2. As with all second albums, while Still Alive was a feisty gulp of fizzy pop, Once You Gone is a more somber effort in which GLaDOS reflects on her changing priorities in a lilting ballad. Whereas she used to want to murder Portal protagonist Chell, now she'd be happy if she just went away. Which sounds like progress to us. Honestly, by the time of Portal 3, we'll be bears, friends. Guys, this is embarrassing. How expensive can an auto-tune be? Very. Well, I don't care. Get one. You know what all the kids love? Dubstep. Am I right? A am I right? So imagine their presumable joy in Skylanders when they came across the big bad boss of this oil rig, Drillex. Get it? Because it sounds like Skrillex, you know, the American DJ who took alternative electronic music from South London and made it insufferable. Still, his Skylanders alter ego was much mentioned in the comments of our last video, with loads of you echoing Ender010 in asking, What about Drillex? Drillex is much loved amongst kids because, unlike Skrillex, he has a massive drill for a hand and spits hot fire. Bars, am I right? Am I right? However, after every phase of the fight, the music becomes bassier and the beats beatier. After the third verse, Drillex's awkward, angry rhymes are followed by massive drops, for which even the biggest dubstep hater would break out the glow sticks. to stop your Skylander from kicking his big metal butt! What did you do, Skylander? You just won the final round! I can't get the beat out of you! And my systems are all shutting down! I guess that's what happens when you're magnetic, man. Oh, was that a dubstep reference? I don't know. Too old for this. The Virgin just does them Thank you. Mighty kind. Mighty kind of you. Nice set of pipes you got there, old man. Everybody loves karaoke, but as my HR manager keeps emailing me, there's a time and a place, Luke. That's a lesson learned by one tough boss in surreal fighting game No More Heroes, in which spiky-haired Travis Touchdown must kill his way up the list of top-ranked assassins. Congratulations, you are now ranked 10th. 10th, huh? Until eventually he slays his way to the 9th ranked assassin, a gunslinger who's estranged from his family and loves to perform, as commenter Silver Kaiser recalls. How about No More Heroes' Dr. Peace? He sings a damn fine piece, no pun intended, before you fight him. Dr. Peace never specifies what exactly his doctorate is in, but we strongly suspect it isn't Peace. I mean, this bloodthirsty assassin puts up one hell of a boss fight in the centre of a huge ballpark before Travis eventually gets the upper hand and guts him like a prized trout. Ouch! But he might just be a doctor of karaokeology. For evidence, check out this monster of a tune that Dr. Peace is belting out when Travis first tracks him down. Bravo! And fun fact, a song penned by game creator Suda51 himself, destined to become your new go-to karaoke hit. It's called The Virgin Child Makes Her Wish Without Feeling Anything. Let's uh let's sing along with Dr. Peace, shall we? Cape of hope, the end of the dream. A shiny fish splashes in a stream. 
And the virgin child loses her heart and soul The night a mother's sign see no more See no more? Okay, yikes. Might stick to Bohemian Rhapsody. Thanks. Your blood will not save you, my hand will be cruel if you disobey. You belong to me. Saints Row is known for its weird and playful style. Sorry, weird and painful style. So in Saints Row Gat Out of Hell, when Satan kidnaps the boss to have him marry Satan's daughter Jezebel, it was about as much of a surprise as being slingshotted into a wall for a bystander within 30 feet of the boss. But the boss wasn't the only one being forced into mandatory matrimony. Jezebel was as well. I'm looking after your best interest. You don't care about my happiness! This is about you! If you just stop telling- You will marry that saint, and I won't hear another word! I won't do it! Yeah, you tell him, Jez. What's he gonna do? Turn around and burst into song? Ha! I'd like to see that! You think because you're my daughter, you think that you're above it all. Damn, that was actually pretty good. Yep, the beefcake prince of darkness has pipes, apparently, as commenter Nick Murphy recalls. Saints Row Gat Out of Hell had a full-length musical number featuring the devil himself. It includes not only wordplay, Devils in the details, and I have some more for you. But also singing so lit, it literally lights the room on fire. You belong to me. I'm giving you away. Not to be outdone, Jezebel gets her own Disney princess style anthem to self determination. And even Johnny Gat and Kinsey, the Saint crew members who jumped into the afterlife to save the boss, get their turn on the mic, with varying results. You have to stay the course, and kill without remorse. Yeah, that sounds fun, but what has that done? We're still where we stand. A little bit pitchy there, Johnny. Kinsey, no notes. Loved it. Friends, friends, I stand before you a changed man. I've seen the error of my ways and now I've got a plan. I'm not here to conquer wasteland. I've tried all that before. I'm here to repair the magic land I truly do adore. Lying is always easier when it's delivered through song. For example, Andy, I think your beard is nice. Aw, oh, thanks. I totally bought it. In Epic Mickey 2, there's one character that uses his vocal cords constantly to hide his true intentions. As noted by commenter, lots of stuff. The Mad Doctor from Epic Mickey 2, The Power of Two, sang almost all the time. Yes, when the Mad Doctor first arrives in town, it seems like he's all about making up for mistakes he made in the previous game, in order to save the wasteland of forgotten Disney characters. Danger is closing in, so much we must avoid. If we don't band together, Wasteland will be destroyed! And hell, this heartbreaking song about his struggle to be a good person makes Mickey and Oswald truly feel for him. It feels like the end. That's a bad place to start. Look at me. I'm falling apart. However, although songs can be used to hide the truth, the urge to sing out how you really feel proves to be impossible for the Mad Doctor to control, and later in the game the cartoon animal duo finds some rather damning evidence in song form. I know the Guardians can make me a tool again! I played Mickey and Oswald for fools! But even I couldn't know that the earthquakes would strike when they sucked up the Guardian pools! And that wasn't even a part of my plan! A plan that's evil as can be! It won't be long till Wasteland will be destroyed, and very soon I'll be a tool! Dear Diary, who is the maddest mad doctor of all? Wonderfully evil me!
Damn it, I guess it's not so foolproof after all, like how Andy's beard looks like one of those magnetic iron filing toys that fell into a dumpster. Hurt that. Very hurtful. Cute things aren't always as sweet and harmless as they seem. Just ask the squirrel who gave me this bite. Oh wait, you can't. He's got rabies. Which reminds me, I have to go get that shot. I'm talking about the squirrel. That lesson could just as easily be learned playing Doki Doki Literature Club, the 2017 game that starts off looking like a saccharin dating sim, but eventually pivots to fourth wall breaking psychological horror. At the heart of that haunting chaos is club president Monica, as commenter Sir Frankie recalls only too well. What about Monica from DDLC? Though I don't think she counts as a boss, but she does have a lovely singing voice. Uh, it's not really clear if she's a boss, it's a complicated one. Okay, let's hear the song. Every day I imagine a future where I can be with you. Oh, Monica, you've made the cut! This adorable tune plays out over the Doki Doki end credits, which displays pictures from your adventure deleted by Monica. See, old Monica has figured out she's part of a game, and unhappy with her romantic prospects, has taken to editing the code of her club cohorts to sabotage them. Monica hates it when you quit the game, and so at the climax of the story, traps you indefinitely in a room with her, unless you go into the game's data and manually delete her character files. Ugh, messing with your head like that, so creepy. Don't worry, we'd never do that to you. So, those are just some of the villains that couldn't help but sing! Sing for me! No, please don't. Instead, you should put in the comments other villains that sang for us. Because uh, there's a lot of them! There's a load! There's so many! So if there are any that you would like us to chat about in future, maybe we'll do another one of these. It's just an excuse for us to do sing-alongs. It's great! Uh, pop them in the comments down below. Um, give us a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe as well. Uh, but as is tradition uh, with these singing videos, uh, now you can just enjoy us dancing to You Are Dead from the game Total Distortion. Good night. Thought you were hot. Guess what? You're not. You are dead, dead, dead. You brought your whole adventure to a screeching halt. You are dead, dead, dead.